What's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Miss Imani E. If you are new, welcome. And if you're returning, I'm glad to have you back. So in today's video, we're giving you, you know, euphoric vibes. I had so much fun creating this look, and I thought that I needed to give my channel a different feel. So as you can see, I'm priming my face with the Il Maquillage Poreless Base Smoothing Primer. When I say this primer, just makes your skin feel so baby soft, like fresh out the womb. Like, oh my gosh, like... Honey, what do you do with your skin? You know, I drink water and I mind my business. Yes, that's the type of primer that you are going to get from this. Also, as you can see, I'm putting glue on my brows because I just like the whole feathered look as I stated in my previous videos. And I just feel like it really gives you that fluffy natural brow. With brushing them up this way, it helps them stay up so I can keep that feathered appearance look. I'm also going to fill them in just a little bit with the Nika K Eyebrow Duo. Um, I'm not going to do too much with it, just, you know, a little bit because I still want to keep that natural brow for this look. You know guys, as a lady, I just felt like there's so much going on in this world, but I really feel like if you hone in and focus on your craft and everything that you want to take part in, now is the time to really put your foot in the door of the opportunity you thought would never arise or you feel as though... I never had the time like now definitely is the time especially during this pandemic you have nothing but time so if you come out of this with no new talents with nothing new on the plate what did you really do in this time frame utilize this time guys i'm telling you that's exactly why i'm doing this now because i have ample amount of time to really hone in on my platforms for pushing out content for you guys and i feel like this is the now or never stage of being an influencer, being a YouTube personality. So what I'm gonna do, just to clean up my brow, I'm not gonna put it on the top. Um, I'm gonna use a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Tan Deep Sand. I'm just gonna clean up the bottom of my brow and I'm also gonna set the base for my eyeshadow with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. When I say this is my go-to product for setting a base in general, I mean, like, it has the right amount of tackiness that really makes that color pop. But if you guys have a specific eyeshadow base that you love, please let me know in the comments. Let me know some new products so your girl can try it out and test it out. I'm all for the new stuff. Also, what I'm going to be doing during this time, too, I'm going to be pushing out so much more content, at least like three to four videos a week, so I can give you guys at least 15 videos a month. That excludes December, though, because that's Vlogmas, and I really am going to try my best, guys, to upload every single day for Vlogmas. Um, I, I know it's going to be a lot, but like I said, I'm taking my platforms very, very seriously now, and I just feel like I really need to focus on giving you guys consistency that's the main thing with being a content creator is consistency and that's the one thing i'm working on because i'm a master procrastinator and i just know once i hone in on something i will not be distracted from it so that's why i feel like now is the time to really push out this content so for this look i was going with like the lavender type vibe so i'm going into the car beauty Girls just want to have sun palette, and I'm just going to pack in like this lavender shade on my lid. And then there was some other purples at the bottom of this palette that I just felt like blended it out perfectly. And throughout this video, you're going to see me blending those shades out to get the look that I need. Another thing about this palette, guys, I have three palettes. I have the Girls Just Want to Have Sun palette, Summer Stunner, and Beach Days. Those palettes by Cara Beauty are everything. Pigmentation is through the freaking roof, you guys. When I tell you, you need to re-up. If you don't have it, you need to contact them. You need to go on their page, go on their website, everything, and get these palettes. They also have some more palettes out, too, which I'm going to test out soon for you guys. When I say get it, you need to get it because it's... As you can see, like that lavender shade is exactly the shade that I need. It's lavender. Like, I just, guys, I can't, I'm probably gonna have to do a review on these palettes because they are everything. 
when it comes to pigmentation, how smooth and butter-like they are. So I wasn't really going for a structured type look with this. This look was really meant to be very, like I said, euphoric, very soft, very just, you know, free flowy, nothing to put together, if that makes sense. That's what I was really going for with this, with this look. And it's also outside my comfort zone, which I've been exploring a lot. When I say I have been pushing out some looks that I'm surprised I even pushed out, I'm really proud of myself, guys. Like, I'm gonna drop some videos or a video of my feed right now on my Instagram. And when I tell you, thanks to you guys, you guys have really been pulling out my creative side, so. I have been seriously on it, like, you win. I just look at these books. And these are the things that I wanted to share with you guys, but I was just like, I need to really, you know, step it up with my looks. No more of these, these dry looks. I really need to give some wild factors. And that's just really what I've been doing since I left YouTube. But your girl is back and I'm ready to give you guys all this good stuff. Also guys, my background, disregarded, it's so plain and it bothers my soul, but I'm currently working on my glam room. If you guys can see my vanity and what's in front of it and behind it, you will be like, sis, like you focused on that part but completely forgot about your background. Yes, I did, but it's okay because I promise you the next few times that you guys see me, I will have some backdrops or at least have my glamour put all the way together so it's not such a boring background. So I just went in with my Il Maquillage Woke Up Like This foundation in the color 175 but as you can see, it is a perfect match for my skin and guys, I will keep proclaiming it and keep like hounding you guys about it. You need to get with Il Maquillage and get a your foundation and conceal it on. That power match is is spot the freak on. You need to do it. When I say do it, I mean like right now, go take that course. It's highly needed and highly recommended. You know what? Forget it. I'm just gonna drop the link to the power match quiz in my description box. You guys need to get the program. There's the sign So right now I'm highlighting my face with the Il Maquillage, of course, as I would say again, concealer and the F I'm Flawless. My shade is 13 and it's also full coverage just like the foundation. I like to go a little heavy handed just to get my, my vibrant on. so you know, do what you do say. So guys, I really want you guys to talk to me and tell me what you guys want to see from me next. I have a lineup of videos, but I also want to hear from you guys so that way I'm pushing out something you guys are really interested in seeing. Also, let me hear from you guys, your, your goals, your dreams of what you want to do, whether it's finish university, graduate high school, become an influencer, whether it's fashion, beauty, modeling, anything. Let me know what you guys are up to because I feel like ultimately though it's different paths, it's the same path, if that makes sense. Meaning like, it's an industry. It's putting your foot through the door, starting off as a micro-influencer with little to none, or even with some experience with the industry. Let me know what you guys are up to. I really want to hear from you guys. I feel like you guys' stories are similar to mine, which I will be sharing with you guys soon the more personal side of missing money. So to set my concealer, I'm gonna go in with my Airspun Translucent Powder, my go-to girl. Also guys, if you have another powder, let me know because I need to try some new stuff, but I'm so scared too because I'm like, Airspun is my girl, that's my sis, and she hasn't failed me. So I need some new stuff. I just want to try out some new products. So let me know in the comments below your favorite setting powder.
Now I'm going to go in with the Hip Dot SpongeBob SquarePants Bikini Bottom Collection and I'm going to go in with their Sandy Cheeks Bronzer and I'm just going to bronze my forehead and my cheekbones and I'm also going to, you know, define that nose, define that grit. I have been using bronzer faithfully ever since it got sent to me. I was never the type to use it, but now I see the dramatic difference in my looks when I when I use it compared to when I did not use it. And that'll be another thing. I will be recreating one of my looks on here. I'm not sure which one just yet, but I feel like when I first started versus now is two different girls. Completely two different. I also have a few things that I can't wait to share with you guys. They're currently in the works, but either by next year, and, and I know you guys are like, girl, next year you're talking about it? Yes, next year, sis. I say that because it's only literally like four months left in the year, but I have some things that I can't wait to share with you guys. I, I just, I've been blessed and I don't know how to say thank you as much as I want to to my supporters and God, of course, like I never thought that the opportunities I've been given or that I've been blessed with would manifest in the way that they did. You know, I am forever grateful because I can see the life that I would like for my family to live and it's coming true. And I can't wait to further show you guys my journey with that you guys are on it with me now but i can't wait to really give you the behind the scenes of how it's going or how it's being put together in a sense i'm gonna go for a high cheekbone with this look and i feel like it's it needs it because of the type of euphoric look i'm going for the eye makeup is so soft so i feel like i gotta give some enhancement elsewhere So I'm just gonna take those purples that I told you guys about and I'm gonna take that under my eye. I'm not really going in any specific motion with this brush. As you can see, I'm kind of just fluffing it out everywhere, but like I said, it's not meant to look so put together. There's the sign. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the gems on my face off camera on one eye just so I can get a general idea of where I want to place them and I'll be right back you guys with putting the gems on the other eye so you guys can see my placement.
There's the sign. So I wanted to add some freckles to my face just to make this look really, really cute. I feel like I was missing something and I don't know why freckles came to mind, but as you can see, it really added that look. I also buffed it out with my beauty blender so that way it looks more natural and not just drawn on. Also, I went ahead and put my lashes on, obviously, as you can see off camera, which I will be dropping my discount code for you guys because these lashes are every freaking thing and you will be seeing me wear a lot of this specific brand's lashes in my video and you guys need to go ahead and get with the program with these lashes sis, because these lashes can literally take the same look and make it a different look just because of the style of lashes. Also, I'm gonna go in to my lip with this. It's weird, it's, it's a lip liner, but it's in like this little jar and I guess it's like a liquid lip liner, I guess you can call it that. Um, I found it at the beauty supply store and I just wanted to test it out and as you can see it's actually really cute. And I'm gonna go in with some brown matte lipstick and I'm gonna go in with the Absolute New York Velvet Lippy in the shade Mink Pink just to make an ombre lip to complete this look. I'm also gonna add some lip gloss because why not? Lip gloss. You gotta have a lip gloss. There's the sign. Lastly, I'm going to go into the Hit Dot Spongebob collection again with their highlighter. And I didn't want to do a gold because I felt like it just wouldn't have went with the silver gems that are on my eyes. So I went with this shade that's cross between like this yellowish silver. I don't really know how to describe it, but it was the cutest thing. So I felt like that color was the best. And as you can see, like Celestial Beam, like period, sis, it's popping. I'm popping. Come on with it. Oh my god, I have this look. Oh my god, what? 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 <laughs> so, so cute. Oh my god, girl. Yes, sis, come through. You look like a million and one bucks. I'm here for it. I'm freaking here for it. And that is it for this look, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below if you loved it or hated it, which I hope you love it. But if you recreate, make sure you tag your girl so I can repost. And I will see you guys next time.